I'm going to now import my wallet into a new wallet software. To do this, I'm gonna make my life a little easier and I'm gonna to go to settings, export, and I'm gonna press download Spectre JSON file. From there, I'm going to name this file and then save it to my computer. From there, I'm gonna go over to Sparrow and I'm gonna press file, import wallet. From there, I'm gonna scroll down until I find Spectre desktop. From there, I'm gonna press import file. Once I do that, I'm going to click the file that I want just saved. Once I do that, I'm going to want to name the wallet. And then it's going to ask us if we want to create a password. I don't want to do that for this. And as we can see, once we press the OK button, we see our 100,000 sets that we previously sent ourselves on Spectre. A great feature of Jade is that you're able to save the configuration file to Jade itself. In order to do that, we're going to want to verify an address on our device. So to do that, we're gonna to wanna to go to the Receive tab and we're gonna to wanna to press Display Address on Device. From there, I'm gonna go over to my Jade and unlock my Jade in order to verify the Receive Address. After we input the correct pin, we're gonna go back to our computer to see a new window pop up. It's simply asking if this is the correct Jade and we're gonna press yes. Once we do that, we're gonna to wanna to go back to our Jade to verify the receive address is the same on the computer as that is on the Jade. Now that I'm back on my Jade, we see a new window pop up and this is asking us to register the multi-sig wallet to our Jade. So I'm gonna click through and make sure everything looks good and every time it does look good, we're just gonna press okay and move forward. Because everything looks all right, I'm going to press register multi-sig from there, the Jade is going to give me a receive address, and I'm going to verify that matches what's on my computer. I'm going to press OK, and now that we go back to our computer, we will see the loading screen go from loading to success. Once in Sparrow, I'm going to press File, Import Wallet, and I'm going to scroll down until I find Jade Multisig. In this video example, you're actually seeing me hold up my phone. This is a workaround that if you need to, you can do. Uh, this workaround is for any newer laptop or any older laptop where the webcam can't scan the animated QR from Jade directly. So I just made a little video recording the animated QR and I imported that into Sparrow. As you can see, the import worked, and we could see those previous sets that we sent ourselves earlier. 